It's bringing baby home day. Very exciting. This vlog may also be a name reveal, but between you and me guys, we do not know what name we're going for. Bear with two seconds, I need to ask my brother to turn his music off, otherwise I get demonetized and I can't keep doing the job that I love. On that note guys, if you could quickly hit like and subscribe, I'm not even used to saying it because I don't say it very much, but it does genuinely help me out so, so much and it means I get to keep doing what I'm doing. But I need that music off. Hey, we've done it, the culprit right here. Hello, that was everyone. playing the garishly loud music. Um, you may have seen on Instagram that we've been doing a little revamp of the stables, partly for little baby boy's arrival. And, I mean, this could have been a video in itself, because this is quite satisfying. Look at that. Look at that. Bang, and the dirt is gone. <laughs> So what you're seeing here, guys, is B&Q paint. This is a sponsored video by B&Q. Oh, I wish, I wish. Anyway, so yeah, Isaac is kindly painting and they've all been pressure washed. You can see we've even pressure washed the floors. We've taken all the mats out. So we've done these three stables. Isaac's on painting duty today. Even the barn floor has been pressure washed. But the reason for all of this was, of course, to make sure that little boy's new stable is disinfected and all lovely for him to go into and his stable of course is all done so it's really important for babies because he's a week old he's literally got no immune system whatsoever so just to try and make things as clean as possible you know it is a horsey environment things are still gonna look a little bit messy but it's all been disinfected and we needed to get rid of the smell of Millie and Etty because obviously there'd be like a mummy milky smell lingering. Um, so yeah, we wanted it just completely nice and fresh so that it's his little home and, you know, I mean, he should know Brinny's smell by now. We're just trying to, trying to dot all the I's, cross all the T's, but look at this gorgeous big bed again. Nice big banks so that if he does get cast or anything, Hopefully we can prevent any knocks. A little bit of straw down there just to try and cover up any of the walls. And then we've got the big, thick rubber kickboards there. Also, these mountain horse trainers, I literally cannot recommend enough. They're like walking on air. I've got really flat, like, duck feet. It's a condition, guys, don't make fun of me. Um, so normally I have to put insoles in all of my trainers, else I get really bad foot pain. But I have been romper stomping around in these for, well, since badminton, and my feet are feeling beautiful. Last thing to show you before we head off is that the wonderful people at Empire Coach Builders have kindly let me borrow the hire box today because we just thought it's gonna be much nicer transporting a foal in a little three and a half ton. The ramp's smaller and then, I can't, I'll show you inside when we get there because mum's shut it all up but you can push the partition right the way across. So he's basically got, so he, they, they're obviously traveling together. They've got this massive space in there where there's nothing to get caught on. So if we were taking our big box, we'd have had to have taken all the partitions completely out, which would have been a bit of a pain. So yeah, massive thank you to Empire Coach Builders. And if you'd like to hire this box, you can. They actually have two available for hire. They are based in Worcestershire. Such nice boxes, they're Thielt ones. Honestly, they drive beautifully and they're just made so, so well, so sturdy and yeah, lovely. Anyway, that is pretty much all we need to do. She's got a head collar down there. He obviously won't travel in a head collar or anything. We're not gonna take a hay net because we don't want anything for them to get stuck on. Normally when you travel for mares and foals, the mare just stands and the foal lies down the whole way. But you know, you never know. You don't think things to get stuck on. Anyway, I'm gonna head off. We are in a little bit of a rush. Hey Jam Bam, and hey Dee Dee. We still need to do your video about having a baby, don't we? If I just ruin the news for you guys, if you haven't watched the badminton part two video, you won't know that, but this is gonna be Dee Dee this time next year. Isaac, you'll be able to pressure wash and paint that stable. Oh, brilliant. Yay. <laughs> oh, that sound. You're so talented. <laughs> wow, you're worth every penny you are. Hey, not just a tree surgeon. <laughs> hey. Oh, was he decorator? 
I mean, I know I said we do a skit, but this is actually really satisfying to watch. Mmm, mmm. Isaac loving the painting. Is this your full-time job, mate, or? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm actually a qualified tree surgeon. <laughs> Poor Isaac uh, got roped into doing this, but if anyone has any tree surgery needs, go on, give us a spill. Yeah, do let me know. I'm Worcestershire based. Yeah, so if you're after any tree work or hedge trimming or hedge reductions, <laughs> then let me know. Anything to do with trees, guys. And this is your man. What's your, um, your website? Yeah, Elphick Tree and Garden Services. Why are you talking like that? You're doing your phone voice. I know, because I'm, I'm doing a pitch. <laughs> right guys, oh, Isaac. You didn't tell me you painted there. I'm a tree surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have a clue what he's doing. But he does with trees, so genuinely guys, if you are looking for any tree work, this is your man, he's very, very good. And he's very personable, and he won't talk like this. I won't talk like this, <laughs> I'll talk like this. <laughs> Right, we really do have to get going. Thanks, Isaac. Love you. Bye. Um, I think Hob is making sandwiches. We're going to get on the road. Right, guys. Good drive down. Oh my gosh, she's really a different colour. What have you done, Sharon? <laughs> you bleached it. You've been painting him again. <laughs> I have actually swapped him, I'm afraid. Have you oh, oh my god, it's so naughty. Uh, I don't want the naughty one. He's very bright. Jenny, why did you have a naughty baby? <laughs> we thought you should keep him. <laughs> keep him entire. I do. Oh, he's, guys, he's really <laughs> naughty. <laughs> sausage. Hey, sausage. Yeah. Hi, penguin. <laughs> Well, it's got runny nose, poor baby. Oh no! Oh no, I don't want to date that one anymore. Sharon, we asked for a nice, sedate native. It was for a day. Hi, Sasit. He's so gorgeous. He's really changed colour. Hasn't he? Just. I'm so excited to see what colour he goes. Do you think he's quite now? What do you think he's doing with me? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think know. he's chocolate done, even though we're not allowed to call them chocolate done anymore, apparently. <laughs> what do you call them? I don't know. Dark buckskin. Chocolate buckskin. <laughs> this is I live here, thanks. That's all right by me. <laughs> hmm. So the mission, guys, is to try and get those two onto the box yeah, that we've tactically put right by the stables, because we can get them out this way. <laughs> oh, little boy. Oh. Before we do the loading, I've come to see a little someone. So Teddy Bear's actually going to go into Brinny's maternity suite once we've left. You get the big stable, start watching you. Sharon doesn't think she'll be popping for another week or so. We said definitely not this week. She's going to wait till you come back. She's going to wait till I'm back from <laughs> Portugal. Thanks, Bear. Is that all right with you? She's, yeah, no bother. You look happy. Let's see your big belly. Yeah, still pretty huge. It is time. I'm gonna put it away. You're on fault, DT. This is what the box looks like. Yeah. We There's Brin Brin. No hay net. Is that right? No hay net. Um, but I'm on fault, DT. So we can't really film because it is going to be a three-person job. So we will see you on the drive back. Hopefully, it'll all go swimmingly well. Yee! That was smooth, wasn't it, Hobbs? But our new really new driver well, here. Really well. Sharon's a pro. Sharon is an absolute pro. <laughs> he oh, was God, in a nanosecond. Literally, yeah. He was doing like loops and stuff, and I was like, oh gosh, Sharon, I don't know if I want him actually. Like, I'll take Brittany. She was like, I could probably just by myself, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, Sharon led him up or like cradled him up, and Brittany obviously just followed straight on after because she's like, where's my baby going? Then Hobbs shut us both in. They're very calm. So now, I'll film in a second. Brinny is tied up, but they've obviously got the whole compartment so he can kind of move around her. But, oh, you can see in the camera as well. We're hoping he will just lie down in the corner and then Brin can kind of wedge herself. Are we good? Yeah. Um, against the side. And that's normally how they tend to travel themselves. But he is a little character. He's been going all around this Empire box, investigating it, while poor Bryn's wickering for him. So cute. I'll um, poke you through 
the other thing I love about this box is you can have a little sneaky peek at the horses through here. So I'll film through there for you guys. A very uneventful journey home which is good they traveled so so well and Isaac is still here painting bless him I will actually have to show you an update on that um, but it means we can hopefully get him to film hello just opening this back bit because I think I'll have to go in there um, and then I think the plan of action will be hi if I go in here with them, the thing about this box is you can actually like get in from every which angle. Hi Brin Brin, you're home sweetie. Um, and probably get a hold of the foal, I think. And then Hobbs will come in and grab Brinny and we'll lead them off and I'll try and hold the foal and we'll go into the barn. That is the, the plan of action. Right. right. Oh God. So you're not a painter now, you're a videographer. Welcome. <laughs> did you actually say your website earlier? It's been really bugging me. Did I interrupt yeah. you? Yeah. You did say it. Elphic Tree and Garden Services. Dot co dot UK. Anyway, best friends. enough of trees. Do you want me to help you? There you go, is that better? Now you can see what's going on. Oh, nice. Cheers. Um, right, I'm going to go in okay. with sacrificial lamb. Shall I let to show you? <laughs> <laughs> He's drinking, I can hear him at the milk bar. The shake shine. Good girl. Have you got him? Have you got him? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I've got him. Okay. okay. He's like an eel. Okay. Maybe we should call him Eli. I do like that. Eli. Good girl. Eli the eel. Good girl. He said I accidentally trod on there. Hang on tight. Oh, stand. Good girl. Good boy. Okay, you're right there. Yep. Good girl, that's right. Oh. All right, sweetie. Stand, put there. Stand. Okay, right. Good girl, good boy. Hang on, you. Wait. Good girl. Oh, I nearly fell down. You're right, you're well done. Bold. He's very bold. Come on in here, sausage. Good girl. He says, wait a minute, I don't want to go in there with all those nets. He's got mummy to go first. Yeah, send mummy. Come on, Sophie. Follow mummy. Good boy. <laughs> he wants to see them. Come on, you've got plenty of time to talk to them. Come on, you're all right. Watch her back legs, Mum. In case she. Good girl. Says, Don't my fault. Yeah. All right, Tisha. Good girl. He looks so small in here. <laughs> like, he doesn't like the grey one. Good girl. Bring your baby. I'm sorry, I didn't think you've had a baby. Good girl, Brittany. Well done. Look at Dee smelling the air. The ice smells. There you go, that's what we brought home. That's what it is. She says, hmm, I smell a Welsh cult. Wow, amazing filming work. Incredible scenes. Not just a one trick pony. Right. Oh, this, this is naughty though. <laughs> oh, he's gone stripier. Oh my god. He says, I'm naughty gold. <laughs> Some photos to send across you the pond. Get marbles to come over. Yeah, I think she's going to come tomorrow. Uh -huh. 
He's definitely changed. <laughs> <laughs> He's still it. He's Floor is lava. He's probably not really doing the straw. Oh, he had it in the lorry. <laughs> I need weeds. Oh, he's strengthening up nicely. Yeah, he's so much stronger than when we last saw him. He's trying to eat the hay bitch. <laughs> this is got this Silmore stuff is good. It'd be such a nice colour. It's quite seal colour. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> Why does jump? jump everywhere as opposed to like just walk? Why walk when you can jump? Yeah. Okay. Brinny, you've been very good with the girls, well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mares are very excited about the new arrival. Oh, I know, Dee Dee. Well, you're going to have one of your own next year. Dee, like, is obsessed with foals. Absolutely adores them. Keep thinking. Oh, yeah. The essence. Doesn't look like you've done much, sir. Uh, <laughs> right, where have you messed this up then? Oh, it's just going grey. Isaac. Uh, Mum reckons it's good. No one told Isaac that you, if you're using black and white, you need to wash the roller in between? I did. That was the problem. <laughs> then it went wet. Now we've got grey. <laughs> I like grey. Well guys, these are the new and improved grey and white stables. Black, grey and white. And look, you've got a real bit of sort of texturing along here, which is lovely. <laughs> Some white streaks. <laughs> this is nice, this little bit of artwork. <laughs> they do look a lot better. They look much better. Painting out. Oh, Wizzy, yeah, I was going to say, you've still got a lot to do. What do you mean? Well, that's five babies. <laughs> Is there a baby? Is there a baby? Let me smell the baby. Oh dear, what are they going to think when Bear brings one home? You're a spirited little chap. Jam is desperate for him to talk to her. Good girl, Bryn. Are you proud of your little colt that you brought home? I would be. Once they've calmed down a bit, guys, we'll brave going in there for a cuddle. A minute, just want to let them settle. Hey, uh. <laughs> good girl, Bryn. Right, baby is settling nicely. I'm gonna quickly take Jam Bam galloping and then whiz back and we'll pop them out in the little. <laughs> he is mad. Put him out in the fall paddock when I get home. Right, Jam Bam, let's go get you fit, girly. Come on, come on. It's not going to survive very long. Keep putting his feet in it. Uh, yeah. Oh, has he tipped it over? He oh. has tipped it over. Yes. We've got a naughty one. We didn't want a naughty one, we wanted a good one. <laughs> Do you like him, Didi?
Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you when we're doing it, Pete. Don't you worry. Nice rest of the day. Right, back from that. <laughs> You've been grass, can you? Trying to organise oh, these goodness. men though, don't yeah. eat any grass. Um, Hi. <laughs> look, it's guys, me. Dad's dressed up for you guys it's today. It's the grass eater, yeah, look. Got the shades as well. And fashionable shirts. Fashion. So, back from galloping, yeah. we've obviously got King Ken, we've got Peter, we're going to get some nice reels, and then Hobbit is just preparing yes. the little padder, which we've sectioned off because there's so much grass in there but dad you're gonna be in charge of this camera okay it's very that easy okay. point so and that. shoot what buttons well because i'm gonna be the, the red one marked shoot <laughs> marked okay. record I can, I can um that. i'm gonna have to take baby hobbit's gonna take brinny military operation to get Mary and Fole out and the fun bit is is we've got the rubber mats that we haven't finished pressure washing because we're still halfway through that we need to hope I'm that brinny doesn't leave really slippery I did just try and get rid of some of the sludge. Yeah. Right, three, two, one, break! Right. Go team. Do you want me to keep her on a litre rope to start with? Because uh, one of you boys shut the gate behind us. Absolutely. Hello, little boy. It'll be like Etty was when she started racing around. Yeah. Oh, too far. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I'd let her go. I think she'll be all right. Are you sure? Yeah. I think she'll be more. Oh, you've got some trial. nice little yeah. leap moves, haven't you? He's so gorgeous. So I guess I shouldn't awesome. be talking, should I? I think we'll be able to catch her. Never been hard to catch. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried about catching devil. <laughs> Like, hello, is that a new boyfriend? Yeah, his ears, look at his, then his ears could come any more forward.
Alrighty ho, gonna end the video here guys because we have been left the task of getting these two in and it is now just mum and I. The boys are always here for the fun and games of getting them out. But when the chips are down and we have to do the hard graft, they disappear off so there's no one to film. But a very successful day, wouldn't you say, Hobby? Yeah, very successful. You haven't told them the name? Well, I haven't got the name yet. We've got to wait. I promise, Next guys, time. we're not trying to do this in like an annoying, like, oh, the suspense. <laughs> Genuinely. And the weird thing is, is, we had like so many names that we were like, oh, like that will suit them. But then well, when the they come is, out, yeah, it's just, you need it a few days to get to know them, I feel. Yeah. That's so the I think new we're plan going to is spend the next forty hours just getting to know his little character. I mean, I think Lightning McQueen at the minute, the way he's gone around here. I'm still, I still like Fro Frosty Comet. No, we're not doing Frosty Comet. This is the problem. Just all the names Pete I like. Frosty Comet. We can't even give him a teaser of names, can we? Sorry, guys. Right. Anyway, oh, Lightning McQueen is like hi. <laughs> Right, I live, laugh, love you guys. Wish us luck. And obviously we will keep you well and updated. Well updated? I don't well know. Well and truly updated. Well and truly updated with all of the Foley antics. And hopefully Bear will have one for us in the next few days. Right, live, laugh, love you. Bye, Bye. guys. Whoa, 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 whoa.